Hey guys, how's it going today? Recently I picked up a pair of shoes that I've wanted for a while and I just thought I'd make a video on them because I think they're pretty cool and I figure if I think they're pretty cool there has to be a good amount of people that think they're cool as well and I just thought I'd show how they're holding up, how they're wearing down, um, my overall thoughts on the shoe. I've wanted these shoes for a couple years now and seeing this video a couple years ago might influence my um, opinion on the shoe itself, whether or not I wanted to purchase it or if it was worth the money or not. And that shoe which I have in my hand right here is the Mason Margiela replica. Um, they're often referred to as Gats. I'm not sure what the official name of the shoe is. I know they're replicas and I always see them referred to as Gats as well. And this is a really cool shoe. I remember first seeing it on Instagram by a couple people that I follow. And it's a real simple white leather shoe. And um, I've just wanted it for a while, so I decided to pick it up. I picked it up off of Grilled for 300 bucks, and if you know anything about these, they retail for about $490. So I decided it was worth the pickup just for the fact that I could get it for a good price. And honestly, it wasn't that bad of a purchase. So my overall thoughts on them after having them for a month and wearing them down is, one, is they're not super, super comfortable after a long amount of time. They look really good with outfits. But after a couple hours of wearing them, say you go to the mall for the entire day or you just just walk around in them for more than like two or three hours, your feet start getting real sweaty and the soles are, they're like a, it's really hard to explain, but it's kind of like a leatherish sole, so it's real slick on the inside. It's comfortable, don't get me wrong. It's just like if you have really sweaty feet, which is kind of gross, but if you have really sweaty feet, then these might not be the best pick for you. Same goes with a lot of these um, leather designer shoes, and there's a couple alternatives to them. Like for the past couple years, I've been rocking the Nike Kill Shot Twos, and if I remember to put a picture up, I'll put one up like right here. And they're super comfortable, and I've worn them for years, and they have a lot of really good wear on them, and I like them a lot. And they're just worn down, so I decided it was time to pick up a new pair, which is why I picked these guys up. And if you look on these, it has a gum sole, which is really nice. Um, and yeah, they're really durable. The bottom is pretty, uh, pretty nice print. It stays. I keep my shoes pretty clean because I don't really go in a whole lot of dirty areas. But I did have to clean them off once uh, a couple of days ago, and it's really easy just to get stuff off the bottom. With that being said, would I purchase another pair of these? Probably for the price that I bought them at. I wouldn't buy a pair brand new unless you're just gonna wear them as dress shoes. But I wear my shoes like pretty intensely, as you might have seen in the Revenge Storm video that I uploaded, I believe, like two uploads ago. Um, I wear my shoes pretty hard, and I don't really take it easy on them. So I'm really excited to see how these wear down, and I'm sure I'll put, an, I'll do an update later on, like further down the road once they're a little more worn in, because I've been wearing them, and they still look brand new. If you look on the leather, if I can get it to focus, there's like a little bit of distressing on the leather, but nothing too crazy. So it's going to be interesting to see how these age and wear down. So I just thought I'd make a video just telling you about my purchase and seeing, get, maybe giving my opinion on if you should buy them or not. And I just thought it'd be helpful for some people that might be looking for this video. If you're looking to get a pair of these, this video might have helped you out, influenced your decision. And if not, then thanks for stopping by. Um, also, I've been in the past couple videos, I've been talking about like a giveaway that I was going to announce. And so I'm finally just going to make it official, and at 500 subscribers, I'll give away $50 to a random subscriber. So in order to be, in order to be like entered into the giveaway, all you basically have to do is subscribe to the channel, and that's really it. On YouTube, I can go on my subscriber list, and basically when I decide the winner of the giveaway, I'll go onto my subscriber list, and I'll do a random number generator, like one through 500, and I'll click. I'll click like generate the random number and whatever number it is like I'll go down the list and whoever's on the list at that spot will get the gift card. I'll do either a Visa gift card or Cash App or PayPal. I know a lot of people don't have like every source of payment. I could even do Venmo. Um, I just wanted a way to give back to y'all and 500 is not a super big number. We're at like 240 something right now and this is just kind of like a personal side project that I've been working on and it'd be cool to see it hit 500 subscribers. My goal for 2020 is to be like at least 10 or 20,000 subscribers, but in order for that to happen, I have to start consistently uploading more and I'm just running out of video ideas unless I buy like new items. Like I have stuff that I regularly buy like technology and a few clothing pickups, but I don't know if you all want to see videos on that. 
So just let me know what you want to see. And yeah, I just thought that this would be a cool video to make because I like these shoes a lot and I've been wanting them for years. So it'd be cool to have a video up like this, especially once I wear them down, I'll be able to come in back to this video and, uh, and look back at how clean they were, you know, a couple months before. So with that being said, I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, I'd really appreciate if you liked it down below. It helps the channel out a lot. And other than that, I just hope you have a good day.